round one was kind of all over the place. Like at the start, I was feeling really confident, and then Pokey kind of existed. I think at one point he had all three world records, which was kind of terrifying. And then I ended up tying his world record with like five minutes to go in round one, which was very sad. I'm glad with what I did in round two, but I maybe don't fumble under pressure like the others. Round one was time trials that I'm very good at, and I somehow enjoyed it a lot. While whereas round two was about races, and looks like I don't find the racing as fun, honestly. In my mind, to win races, you have to find the best line, practice it, so you could get the fastest time during the qualifying. Then you have to practice the best racing line for the race itself, practice it a lot, be consistent at it, and then the best outcome is that you start first, you front run, you're unstoppable and get easy first place. And to achieve this plan, you kind of have to put a lot of effort in. The second race, it was pretty good. So far the best moment that I've had in the competition, obviously because I had a great battle with Toki and ultimately I, I won that race, so I'm going to see even better. Your strongest performance was round two, race two. Would you say that that's a true representation of what you are capable of? Uh, definitely not. I, I mean... I'm capable of more than that. Was there any time in round one or round two where we saw fantasy at his potential? I think uh, Speedway 52 is a good example. Calm, composed, took pole, and really just managed to kind of just put away any doubt that was whether or not I was going to win or not. And that is something that I strive to do a lot of the times. And I think if I'd gotten the start, I could have done in mid go explicitly. I could have had a similar result there as well, but I, I unfortunately didn't. So round one, uh, it's time trialing. Uh, I don't like time trialing, but I pushed through to at least like uh, qualify with a decent enough position. Round two was extremely fun with the heats. So basically good and bad drivers get like split and you don't have to race like a bunch of good drivers. It's mostly like 50-50. I just against some amazing people. It was amazing. It was fun. Round one was more about the grinding. And I think I'm a, I have a pretty good grind set. So just putting hours in for round two. I think my race was really good in Speedway 52. And I got fifth. However, it could have gone way better. And for the second race, I, I couldn't show up. I had IRL stuff to do. So that's a real shame. So in a way, I didn't get any points at all. Because I couldn't be there. And I had to use my mulligan. So, it's just round one points for me that really matter. So, I think I remember telling you, uh, I would try a bit for round one, but I knew I wouldn't get, like, among the top positions, because I didn't feel like grinding that much, and even then, I just didn't have this much time. So, I think I ended up, like, P13 or something, which is still pretty good, and, like, it was definitely enough for round two. And, yeah, I, even the races were good, I didn't like die or anything at the start and that I got good qualities. I think it was P5 and P8. I get, got to both the three in the two races. So yeah, it was quite good. Round one was kind of busy for me because I did a lot of time traveling, but the main thing was I didn't have enough time to practice the course of studying and all of other things. But in round two, I think I had enough time, so I did pretty good results. As almost everyone here, I go for the win. I know uh, there will be a lot of opponents like Soda. It definitely would be a hard one, but I'll try my best and see what I will give. Okay, round one wasn't that bad. I ended up in six, I think, and I'm pretty happy about it. Zine tried beating me at the last minute, but then he couldn't finish his run. So six is where I ended up. However, in round two, I did get really unlucky there. For uh, for Boat Labs, it was mainly Ping, and for Frostex, Shiger Tark. And yeah, otherwise, I am I am happy to be in uh, round three at least. I can't I can't wait for it, bro. I sunk a lot of time into round one. Uh, if I if I calculated correctly, it was somewhere around twenty hours in a week, which uh. It was mostly also because I thought the competition was going to be a lot fiercer. It still was pretty fierce, but I thought it was going to peak at 8th. And then I was like, okay, now I'm just going to try to maintain it. And then I peaked at 5th. 
And then at that point, I just put all my time into it, just trying to get the best time possible. And it were paid off. I mean, the first round, I sweat that a lot. I had probably 20 hours on Surge and 20 hours on Cannonball. So I was bound to have a good time on those. And I did, which put me pretty high up, pretty good standings. Uh, and then the next round, race one, I was, I was lagging pretty badly. So I didn't get any points there, but it was fun. And then for the next one, I was expecting to be lagging again. So I didn't try particularly hard for it, but I ended up being fine and I got a good start and I did got pretty lucky with back markers and such. So I ended up coming fifth, which was a great result for me, I think. I feel like round two, I'm a bit angry. I couldn't make the first race, but I also forgot about the mulligan. So I thought I was like done for. I thought I didn't have a chance. And for the first round, I don't know what to say. I... I enjoyed the tracks, I enjoyed time traveling it. I uh, didn't want to put much time into the game and I also had exams that week. I'd say I'm just more of a racing than a time trialer, definitely. Round one, I didn't really have a lot of time to practice all the tracks, but I just made sure that I was at least like near the 20, top 20 and that was, I would be fine. As for round two, I didn't even practice the tracks too much, but I, I made sure I knew them and to take some at least different lines. and. All that so would you say that you're satisfied with your uh round one and round two performances uh round two yes round one no but seeing cmx being higher than me really got me going in the second race you know mm -hmm. and moving on into the competition can we expect more from techno gustav of course easy p1 whatever it is building quality racing you name it p1 the round one is a bit of I wouldn't say an unpleasant memory, but I definitely dealt myself a tough hand by trying to take a break. I feel like I could have scored much higher if I had the entire week for practicing, but I decided not to just, you know, let myself take a breather after FC1. But after that, round two has been a lot nicer in my experience. At least a lot more enjoyable. Honestly, I gotta say, I think uh, I do thrive a lot more in racing situations with strategy. And uh, I'm super happy I was able to uh, shine here at least. Whether I'm going to be able to uh, outpace anyone like Rocket or Toki or Soda in a race, don't know about that, but I'm just happy being All-Stars for as long as I can to uh, really shine and show my full potential. Um, well, round one, just nothing too interesting, you know? I didn't really sweat like the sweaty kids. <clears throat> Fantasy. Oh. <laughs> oh. And then? Round two, again, no sweat. And yeah, that's my position right now. Of course, unfortunate what happens in the second race, but it's fine. A 14 in qualifying was a good result. I could have done better, but I was fine with that. So I tried to, on round two, uh, do something better. But in the first track, I didn't have really uh, that confidence uh, in the track, also because of the gimmick and... I did a bad race, in fact. But on the second one, I was feeling really good. But after a bad start and a bad crash with both of them, I was, I was in a really good position after the, the bit. I thought I couldn't really uh, keep up that podium position, but still a P5 was doable. But yeah, that crash really destroyed my race and I ended up... Uh, but uh, even on the second uh, race of the round two. My round two was chaotic. First race, disqualification. Because I had a lap that pissed off. I didn't even know we were on the last lap. Uh, I was focused on the race. And well, I think it's kind of cool. I wasn't the announcements. So that's, that's great. And the uh, second race, I didn't expect it. But before, that was quite good. Uh, again, not so much practice. A lot of uh, pressure with school uh, lately. The exams and stuff. So I uh, was happy to, uh, to get a P4. Do you think you're going to try to shoot up the positions and uh, try to get higher on the overall standing? Oh, uh, yeah, of course. P23, that's, that's quite low. <laughs> that's quite low for you. All right. Uh, oh, it is. So are you planning on uh, jumping up a lot of positions uh, in round three, hopefully? Yeah, uh, around around 22 positions. Oh, you're popping up around 22 positions? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I think I'm, I think I'm going to win, but maybe it's just me. I'll destroy anyone uh, who comes in my way. I didn't practice too much. I mean, I definitely don't feel like I did very good. The The races were fun. I didn't make too many mistakes during the races. And I guess I made it to round three. 
Do you think uh, in terms of your performance, is your performance in round one and round two, is that reflective of your potential and what you're capable of? Or do you think that there's more? Yeah, I definitely think I can go higher. Definitely if I practice a bit more. Uh, I'm not expecting too much out of this, though. And I got to keep my expectations low and then surprise myself. Oh, all right. All right. That's an interesting strategy. I like that. Can I start with Speedway 52? Go for it. Yeah. Okay. Basically, I didn't practice much. I just hopped on when it was like Saturday or Sunday. And I just kind of practiced for like 30 minutes or something. Managed to get on the leaderboard. So I kind of understood like how to drive the track. I think I got like 14th or something, which I mean, it's fine. It gets you by, but I wasn't really satisfied with that. I just had to like understand like if I didn't practice much, I wasn't really, really like prepared for it. So I didn't really get that until Midgar Expressway. I was able to like actually see the scoreboard and like strategize my way through there. So it was actually a cleansing race, Midgar Expressway which I'm really happy about. Even though it wasn't the best of my races, I think this is just the beginning. The first race was here, you know, on this amazing, beautiful track. I thought that I won't make it, but then somehow I got home one hour before the race, and then I had, like, maybe 40 minutes of practice. I mean, I didn't practice for all of it because I'm lazy, but, you know. I got one point, and in the second race, I didn't think about the racing at all. <laughs> because I had Vicky in VC, and we were singing and having fun the whole time. I have to be honest, I didn't really read into what even the league was. I just saw like, oh, fun league, let's join it. So I had no clue and just did the time trial to get the placement. And then for round two, I actually tried in the first race. I had a terrible start and just no pace at all. In race two, I actually had great pace, but I had an unfortunate pit stop where I rammed into the pit wall instead of going into the pit, which basically ruined my race. Round one, I started off strong. I was getting the times and I just lost motivation. And I knew I had a good enough time to get through to round two, so I just left it. I probably could have got a bit of times if I tried. But I got through the round two, so that's all that matters. And then I missed the first race, which probably made it a little bit closer comfort. But luckily I managed to pull through in the second race around two, and a performance that even shocked me. So luckily I got through. I was expecting to get into round three, and I've reached my goals, so anything from here is just a bonus. Definitely intense for me, at least. Especially race two. Race one was, um, I didn't really practice it much. But I did practice it like a decent amount to feel confident in it. And it was a pretty fun race. And the race two was um Yeah, no, I'm I'm kinda of disappointed in that one. I didn't do as well as I wanted to. Yeah, it was just kinda of, kinda of bad. But it's fine. 